Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Row Builder YouTube channel. Today we're starting a brand new series where I'm going to be trying to build a game from start to finish doing everything by myself, okay? This is going to be very, very interesting and uh, I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, it's going to be an obstacle course with a huge twist, like an obstacle course simulator, okay? Which is like weird but also awesome. I don't want to go too, too far into detail because I feel like this game is going to take me a very long time to make simply because I have zero knowledge of scripting other than the parent-child system, okay? So, like, game is the parent of workspace, etc. So, uh, I think it'll be a cool idea and definitely a fun series and I'll learn a lot. And uh, what I did over here was I put these 14 studs apart because I'm just trying to check. Uh, it says 14 studs is the maximum player jumping distance. Uh, so I was just trying to make sure, yeah, you can clear that. All right. That's just going to help me later on as a reference point. So I don't have to test the obby every single time. I just got to make sure that my movement is 14 studs. So the idea guys, all right, like in the basic, the most basic form is a linear simulator map layout with zones. All right. So like the spawn zone, which I will call levels. Okay. So the spawn level will have let's say five stages uh and i'm guessing maybe like a zigzag or something like that okay maybe straight i'm not sure exactly yet uh but maybe zigzag and then the next one can zigzag this way i'm not exactly sure but it can have five stages nonetheless and then each uh each stage will hopefully have some sort of scripted aspect whether that's a moving part uh, a button you click to spawn in a part like there's so much that I'm gonna have to learn in this and I feel like it's gonna be a great experience overall and hopefully by the end of it uh, I'll have a game you guys can play and I'll learn a lot to where I can make like an actual game that I could hopefully make some money off of I don't really think this one's gonna really make anything but nonetheless it's gonna be a fun experience but if you guys are hyped for this series please make sure to drop a like down below it does help me out a ton and if you could drop a comment as well uh any ideas you might have to try to put into the game that would be awesome as well and it also you know boosts your boy in the algorithm a little bit i think i'm gonna be using icy devs asset pack along with some of my own assets uh for example i don't like his trees uh, he's so talented, guys. Icy Dev, literally, gotta be one of my favorite builders on Roblox. He's definitely in the top two, okay? So, Icy Dev, uh, I'll be using, like, his, his little mountains right here. So, let me bring those guys over. His fountain, because I definitely can't make one better. Uh, I might as well use his egg thing. Don't think we overly need teleporters. I don't think. Uh, I'll definitely use these rocks. Those are pretty sick. Uh, let me grab these guys. And this pack is also free. So if you guys like the builds that you're seeing in this pack, definitely uh, go cop his his asset pack, guys. He's got it on Twitter and on the Rodef Market, I believe. So cop it up, guys. All right, we're, we can use some grass. We can use some mushrooms. We'll definitely use those. Uh, we gotta find a shop. We gotta find a, a use for the, uh, the shop and sell circle, okay? So let's just move these guys over here as well. Boom. And what else? Definitely these guys. These are like the OG, uh, what, what game came out with these things first? I believe it was Saber Simulator, I want to say. Don't quote me on it, though. I might not be uh, overly too, too right. And uh, cactuses, those will be fun for a desert area, which we do have. I believe this one will be a desert. Okay. Some gears. We could definitely do like a steampunk area. So let me just copy these guys and we could just put those like down there, I guess. And I think that's pretty much it from the asset pack. I am going to keep the teleporter because... We could, we can maybe use it for something, okay? I'm not sure exactly yet, but we can maybe use it for something. Other than that, I see your asset pack is useless to me, okay? <laughs> I pretty much took everything out of it. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and start a layout. Well, I'm going to draw first. So let me go ahead and grab all of these pieces and get everything just kind of put together in a nice little stack. All right, so I moved that off. I'm going to take a screenshot of just these first first two zones, probably just the first zone, really, because that's the focus of today. And then I'm going to go into Photoshop and, uh, and kind of draw out what I'm thinking. All right, guys. So, so far, so good. This is where we're at. Uh, I was thinking uh, you spawn in right here, okay? And then you'll head down this path and all this will be obstacles. I'm not sure like how exactly I'm going to do it just, just yet. But then at the end, there will be an egg you can purchase if 
you have enough coins. I'm thinking after each obstacle stage, so like stage one, two, three, four, five, six, there'll be six stages. Maybe you get 10 coins per stage and this will cost 60. This is an example I don't know yet, but um, that'll cost 60. And then every time you die, you maybe lose one coin, okay? I'm thinking something like that. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes, of course, because I definitely don't know how to script any of that yet, but it'll definitely be interesting. Also, I think for this first one, we should change it to like, oh, is it supposed to be turned? It's definitely supposed to be turned. Yikes, there we go. <laughs> we might change that to blue. Not sure just yet, but here's what I got. It's not done. I am going to finish it up and then start the obstacle course itself on these first zones. And uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been only a second for you, but a few, uh, a few little bits for me, okay? Basically, I, I had a few ideas, all right? I got the spawn pads done. And I figured, hey, like the shop and sell circle is a great idea to use as a spawn pad. We'll change it purple. Uh, just as like that will signify a spawn, okay? And then we have the blue one, which is the shop one usually in simulators, will be our checkpoints. And my goal is whenever someone steps on it, uh, it'll turn green and maybe spin uh, as a saying like, hey, you stepped on this, good job. So there, there, there's what we got so far, guys. I added grass, a bit more decoration, uh, these portals, which these will not be gameplay uh, oriented like you, you won't do anything with them they're just here for the looks um but yeah here's like the progress now i just need like the obstacle courses themselves that you will have to complete in order to get to here and i don't really like how this looks like this is like almost in line with this so i think i'm gonna move this over just to like the edge of the zone something like this and there we go first things first uh, we definitely want to start it easy, so I'm thinking jumps, and other thing, we have organized as well, so check this out. We have Obby Sim. I don't have a name for it. Leave your names down below in the comments, uh, and then we have levels, which is what is going to be classified like this is a level, okay? And then, um, no wait, that's zones, so, le oh gosh, I've confused myself already. Okay, so yes, this is a level, okay? And this is a zone, like this is like six zones. I should probably switch those names because this would make sense for spawn to be a zone and then levels within a zone. So yeah, let's switch those. I already confused myself, guys, but it's good that we're doing this now. Okay, so zone, levels, and then this is the spawn level, okay? There we go, guys. I'm gonna go ahead, make a couple little obstacle courses. Uh, I've never really done this before, so wish me the best of luck. I know 14 studs. I'm keeping it in my mind. <laughs> All right, guys. So I have finished it. It is a bit of an eyesore, and I'm not exactly sure how I want to fix that yet. I do need to add a bit of trees real quick. So I'm going to go ahead, plugins, brush tool, and uh, select my trees real quick. Nice, add, and add. Nice, and unselect the grass. Add, I think the settings will be okay. All right, so just tree 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 you know get get a few placed around click until they place you already know what it is guys boom one can go up here there could even be some up here bro like they look so small up there wow it's all good though let me grab a tree put it right over here i'm gonna keep clicking till one spawns nice let's get it one can go up there probably two up here to be fair if we could get one more three i want the other tree not a, not another pine i want the other tree it's gotta work give it to your boy um uh okay I don't, oh there we go nice we got the other tree let's go we'll put one down here cool one over here uh we don't need one right there we could use one here if we can get one nice and a pine tree here hopefully uh of course not why would it give me what i want there we go <laughs> I don't know if we could fit one over here. Um, we can. Nice. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make these, like, you know, nice where they need to go and everything like that. We'll be right back. But this is the obstacle course, guys. Actually, we don't even need to go anywhere. I'm just going to make sure all these are on the ground real, real quick and just sink all of them a little bit rotate some of them just to make sure that they're facing the right way like you know hey uh we're coming in one way the game has you know one path and uh we gotta kind of stay true to it a little bit okay not too much because we don't want things to look all uniform but for the most part 
we can stay true to our path. This guy is way off. Let me just give that a little quick spinny McTwisty. There we go. Uh, now, guys, here's what I got, okay? So up first, you got the little jumps, okay? This is a very, very easy obstacle. Uh, it's just like the first one. Like, hey, get warmed up to the idea of the game. You spawn in here. Then you got your obstacles. You have a checkpoint right here. Then you have this. Now, this is kind of hard. Uh, and I made this little thing that's not scripted yet, of course, because I don't know how. But I want to make it so this and this... Are all right, are spinning, okay? So hopefully, when uh, when I figure out how to do that, maybe next episode I'll focus on scripting this zone. I don't know if I'm going to do zone script, zone script, zone script, or all zones and then all script. I'm thinking zone script, though, because then it'll be a little easier for me, I think. Uh, but yeah, there's this obstacle. Then you come to here. Another very, very simple one. I just wanted to incorporate these guys as, uh, you know, they're kind of like a staple of the simulators. So I wanted to incorporate them somehow. Then this guy. I'm not sure if this is going to be easy or hard. All three of these are going to be rotating. So, yeah, it could get a little hard, but I'm not sure yet. Then we have the skinny you got to walk on. I added a couple little shortcuts. If you want to get a little brave, you can uh, kind of jump and kind of skip some stuff. But, you know, hey. I don't know if you could actually jump this. You probably could because you can jump this far. And then at the end of the little skinnies is just these. Boom, boom, boom. And then checkpoint. And then this guy right here. I want to have the middle two rotating. So that's uh, that's the whole first zone obstacle course, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you're real hyped for this series. I know I'm definitely hyped to learn a lot of new stuff. So uh, that's going to wrap it up, though. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.